Okay, so I have no idea how this is going to work because I've never done any video this way. So this is me blending. Woohoo! So these are my inks here that I'm going to use. I have three blending tools and one with no Velcro on it, so I put some other stuff on it. So that's how I stick my <laughs> foam to it. So anyway, I'm going to start with the scattered straw. Okay, next I'm going to go with Wild Honey, and because this is the easiest pad to use, or tool to use, I'll use this one next. And let's go in there with Wild Honey. And you can tell I don't really care what I'm doing, I'm just throwing color on there. Not a whole lot to, uh, it's not really exciting, huh? <laughs> As Tim says, you're just putting color on there to put color on there, really. So, yeah, nothing really thrilling about that. So, okay, that one goes over here. Right there, I think this is my shabby shutters. This way next, and uh, let's see. I think I'll put this over here. And the smaller the circles, the more condensed amount of ink, or the I guess the uh. The, the more concentrated the color will look. And if you make the circle bigger, you know, like something like that, it'll spread it out and look more sheer or, or have a, the opacity, since you like that word so much, <laughs> it'll have a certain opacity to it. And I just kind of smush it in. I don't care if green and orange go together. I happen to think they kind of do. I think it looks pretty. So I just kind of smush it all in there. And I see some little lines in here from that wild honey, so I'm going to go in there with that. And then I think, let's see, I've got my tumbled glass over here. And I'll go up here with that. So I like the way the green and the blue kind of blend together. And since I started with the yellow up here, you know, it all kind of works. These are nice colors together anyway. It just look good. So that's kind of what I'm doing here. And there's a scrap. If you hear scratching, apparently one of my cats is using the litter box here in the craft room, which is always a nice, pleasant surprise. Looks like Gracie. Welcome to my world. Let's see here. So that was that one. So I've got one left here. 
Let's do the easy one again. And this looks like festberry, so... And since I've got such a concentration of orange over here, just to kind of bring that down a little bit. I'll go like that. No rhyme or reason, just blending along. Something like that. So that's what I've got now, if you can see. And then Tim was saying that he always likes to add a, uh, you know, a warm tone. So I happen to have walnut stain sitting off to the side, which is one of my favorites. So this is kind of rainbowy looking. So you know, if I want to, you know, he was saying to uh, to tie all the colors in together and you know bring your eye in. You know, so I'll just throw some walnut stain on there. No big deal. It's one of my favorite colors too. It'll certainly look good if I add a little bit more to this this corner here. Just to, yeah, there we go. And there we go. Blending according to Lisa. What do you think? Look okay? You know where to find me if you have any questions. But I think it looks all right. So, so those were my colors. Uh, tumbled glass, scattered straw, festive berries, Wild Honey, Shabby Shutters, and Walnut Stain. And uh, there's my lovely little tag. See ya!